stepping out of lay comfort zone. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Get Ready With Me. I'm gonna do another different for Alex. I look today because the last one that I did, actually, you guys really liked it, so thank you. If you guys are new here, I'm a neutral eye girl, like through and through, but I got the Mercury Retrograde Palette from Huda Beauty, and it's been very inspiring for me, so my last look was very, like, teal, purple, so we're gonna switch it up today and do another eye look with this. So if you have the palette, hopefully I can inspire you. But before we get into the chit chat, get ready with me slash makeup tutorial, I want to show you guys my new obsession. I love technology. <laughs> I've always loved technology. I love gadgets. I have been using High Mirror for a year now. This is not just a mirror, people. This does so much. That's the old high mirror that I've been using for a year. I love it. I use it every single day. Like I didn't even know smart mirrors existed until last year. And since I got it, I use it every day. But now they have a new high mirror. So this is the high mirror slide. Woo, how cool. Hey, all right, so I'm hyped to show you guys all the things that this smart mirror can do. It's crazy it changes the game on your beauty routine on your makeup routine the first thing i'm going to show you guys is the skin analyzer it can analyze your skin way to go technology hi mirror guys it's literally so cool it can log you in with your voice all right so let's get into the skin analyzer here so i'm just clicking on skin analyzer so it does have an hd camera so i did this on my last mirror too i'm obsessed i want to see what's changed center your face within the frame and stay still three Two, one. Great picture. <laughs> now it is analyzing my skin. It has you line up where you need to be. So now this is what shows up afterwards. So we have pores, red spots, dark spots. So we can kind of go in and see everything here. So as you can see down here, it has like the color range. So my pores are average, great. So my pores are at a 2.07%. And it's really cool because you can track your progress too by taking you know new pictures with the skin analyzer. You can track your progress of how everything's going. You can like literally see how well products are working for you. Like my dark circles are <laughs> just a little bit high right now. Um, it's poor. <laughs> so oh, you can track through the week, month, or year. It's so cool. It's a great way to keep in track with your skin. I used this a lot in my last high mirror. So another thing that I love about high mirror is that it has five preset light scenarios. It's perfect for when you're in different lighting situations. And like, this is so compact on the go. You can just slide that over. It's pretty small. It has like a retractable stand this is perfect for travel look at all these different situations here for lighting i like to go over to bright office room and i like to turn it up 100 percent because that's just what i like to do but there's so many different options warm lighting cool lighting it's so helpful now i'm going back to the home screen here this is a back button that's the light button this is probably my favorite feature here because i am a youtuber it has high tube guys i'm literally logged into my youtube channel like, this is amazing. So, if you guys like my makeup tutorials, this is the coolest part to me, especially if you love to follow makeup tutorials on YouTube. You can play my tutorial with the mirror right here and follow along that easily. This is the coolest thing ever. Like, guys, this is just the coolest thing ever. I am obsessed. I, like, what? That's, that's just so cool. And if you're following a tutorial as well, you can literally even minimize it and still listen to the audio doing a tutorial if you wanna go back to the homepage and do something else. Just another few other features here. Beauty box is really cool. Like, look at, this is so cool. It shows you products that may be good for your skin. Like, that, that, that's so, that, that's amazing. Like, cause it analyzed your skin, it knows. You can also set up Amazon Alexa, other social accounts like Facebook, music streaming services like Spotify, you can go on Instagram. Like all the apps are right here along the bottom. And there's so much more to play with on it. Ugh. I just think it's the coolest thing ever. Get it for yourself, get it for someone for a Christmas gift. It's dope. Like I said, I've been using the previous model for the last year, like it's the only thing I use. It's so cool that it has the slide. Like, ugh, I'll stop blabbing. But I do want to let you know that you guys can go ahead down below in the description box to grab your high mirror for this holiday season. There will be a link down below in the description box. Check it out. All right, so makeup. 
what are we gonna do today what are we gonna do today mm -mm -mm. i'm a tiktoker now i actually really like tiktok mm. i feel like hmm, i feel like i resisted tiktok for a long time and now I really like it. Because Vine was everything. It really was. I loved Vine. I'm just moving my mirror to a more convenient location. I'm just gonna put it in front of me here. So I can see myself and look at you. But I loved Vine. I was a big Vine girl. I liked how quick it was. I liked it was fast paced. I liked how they just kept playing in a loop and they were just easy to consume. It was just easy to consume. It was funny. So I don't know. TikTok, maybe the new Vine. I don't know. I want to know your opinion down below. I was watching some the other day and I was just, oh, cracking up. I was cracking up. Um, for my skin right now, I'm starting off with the Benefit Professional Primer. <sighs> Love it. I'm going to throw on a little Brazilian Kiss Chapstick from Sol J. Janeiro. Oh, I've been using this mask a lot lately. Like, see how much is gone? It's the Pure X Barbie Glitterly Brightening Peel-Off Mask. It's really good. It, like, actually peels off. <laughs> and it just makes your skin look kind of glowy after. I haven't been using it long enough to know if it's really brightening my skin. But I like it. I'm gonna clip back my hair. Love these clips from Amazon. So before I put on my foundation, I'm gonna throw on some of the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. I love this stuff. It's so pretty. Some days when I don't wear foundation, like I need to buy more of this. Some days when I don't wear foundation, I'll put this on, mix with my moisturizer. And it just gives you like the prettiest glow. Like it really does just make you look luminous. I like to put this on especially under a matte foundation, which I'm going to use today. It just gives you a little bit more of like skin-like glow. So I'm gonna use my tried and true double wear today. Love her. I'm in the shade 2C3 for anyone wondering if we have a similar skin tone. Oh, I love this foundation. I have a long day today. It's really early right now. I'm gonna be working all day and then I'm having dinner with Lily tonight. So whenever I have a long day, I know I need to use this foundation because it will stay on. So are you guys getting ready for the holidays? I'm like almost done Christmas shopping, y'all. Like, why am I like this? Oh, I know, because I'm obsessed with Christmas and I'm a Christmas baby. Who else was born around Christmas? I was born on Christmas Eve. And I feel like the spirit of Christmas just lives deep inside of me. I mean, like, maybe if I was born on March 4th, I'd still love Christmas this much, but like, who knows for sure. I also really like this shirt. If you're wondering, it's from Nasty Gal. I like the square neckline. It's kind of cool. All right, concealer, Makeup Forever HD. I've been using this a lot lately. I don't really have a reason. I've just been using it a lot. I've been really into highlighting and contouring my face. Let me know your favorite cream contour stick down below because this one's actually getting low. It's the L'Oreal Infallible long wear shaping stick in the shade 410 and I use this one like every day and I feel like there are ones that I know people use and are obsessed with like cult favorites is that still a thing people say cult favorites oh get the double chin hey. and then I just buff this in with my Tarte Amazonian clay brush We have our baking on now, so I'm going to go ahead and just quickly throw on my brows off camera, and then I'm gonna leave my baking on and we'll start the eye look. Okay, so let's dive in to the Mercury Retrograde palette again. I believe when you're watching this, Mercury and Retrograde is over, honey. Don't you feel like it's like always Mercury and Retrograde? I feel like I'm always on Instagram just seeing it's Mercury and Retrograde, everyone panic. All right, so the last time that we were in here, we used like these blue tones. So I think today we should just go like full purple moment, like yes, 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 yeah? Cool. 
Thank you for that approval. So first I'm gonna take this shade in my crease and then follow up with this purple shade just because they're like perfect, easy matte colors. I already primed my lid with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And I'm just buffing this effortlessly into my crease. Oh, if you're wondering what I use for my brows, I use the It Cosmetics Universal Taupe Brow Pencil. Now I'm grabbing that purple matte shade, Libra. And I'm just following up with that in the crease. Such pretty colors. I'm obsessed with this palette. Guys, it takes a special palette to get me out of my comfort zone. So. so next I really want to take this shimmery light purple here. It's called Cosmic. And I'm going to apply that with my finger. Ooh, on my eyelid. So gorge. Like these look so pretty with one layer, but when I put like two or three, it's like crazy. Oh! I hope it translates on camera. It's so stunning. The palette is so easy to make coordinating looks with. I'm gonna take some of this darker purple here and I'm gonna to start to transition that like in the middle of the lid. I just want it to be very like ombre. So I'm doing that in like the middle of my eyelid. And I'm just gonna like marry those two together, blend them. There we go, there we go. Now I'm gonna take this dark matte purple. This is called Hot Mess, yes, Hot Mess Express. And I'm just taking a nice, dense blending brush and I'm putting that in the outer V and then I'm kind of working it up into the crease as well since it's a matte color I'm just kind of fanning it out as well just to create a more interesting shape because why not we're going all out <laughs> then a little bit of this darker purple called vortex and I'm just going to focus that right on the outer corner and then just giving that a blend with some of that lighter purple on top just to kind of soften it. And I am gonna take more of that second purple and pop that back in the middle. I like to go back in with the first shades at the end because it makes them so much more vibrant. And then that first light purple because they can get a little bit lost. Oh, I love these colors. And then just, I like to keep blending. And I'm gonna throw on some lashes off camera and we'll work on the bottom part of our eye after. All right, I am back with lashes on. So I went a little dramatic today. I'm wearing Miami's from Lily Lashes. I love these lashes. They're such just voluminous, gorge lashes. They're still drying a little bit. So let's go ahead and wipe away our baking and get started on skin. Definitely a little bit of fallout, but not too much. I'm just setting my skin with more of that Wet n Wild powder. I'll link all the makeup I used down below. So I've been using lately the NARS Laguna Bronzer. I really like this stuff. It's like the perfect color and it like kind of warms up the skin but also kind of gives you like a contoured look. I really like it. I always have powder on me, always. I filmed a video what like last week and I had, I was watching it back and I had powder all over my top and I'm like, and then blush lately, I have been using the Tarte Risqué. It's like the prettiest neutral color. And I just put that right above my contour. I feel like this color looks good with like any eye look. Oh, I also forgot, I like to just quickly take some of my bronzer, and go over my nose contour, my cream. I'm just really into the look of like a snatched nose lately. I feel like it makes your makeup look so put together. And I just kind of like blend over it. It's not like too harsh, I don't think. And then I'm gonna take some of my Fenty Moonstone Highlighter, my favorite lately. And just put a little highlight down the upper center just to make it pop, you know? And then I'm just gonna highlight my face with this big fan brush from Morphe or Crown. The logo's worn off, but I get questions on this brush all the time. But I feel like if you just Google like large kabuki fan brush, you should be able to find something really similar. I love that highlight. Before I get into finishing the under eye, I'm gonna throw on some Morphe spray. I love that stuff. I feel like it just makes my skin look like skin again. So underneath my eyes, I think I'm gonna keep it pretty matte, but I think I'm gonna start with this darker purple 
and then underneath it throw these two on to kind of like transition it and give it a blend underneath but oh look at these colors i love this eye look who is she this palette who i owe it all to you i finally am stepping out of my comfort zone so let's start off with the hot mess purple right on that lash line following up with those lighter shades right on top and then mascara on the bottom lashes to pull it all together I also need to put more mascara on my upper lashes and blend them So you guys can totally judge me, but whenever I do an intense eye look, I feel like I need to do a nude lip. But I'm going to use something I've never done on camera. I got these new Givenchy Le Rouge lipsticks, and this color is so gorgeous. So let's use this on camera. It's number 110 Rose. But first, I'm going to throw on some Whirl Lip Liner from MAC. Alright, so lip liner's on. It's literally like the perfect lip shade. It's a little more like rosy than nude. I just think it is so pretty and I really like the formula. Like it feels between a cream and a matte. Like it's right between. It's very comfortable. It's not dry. Another colorful makeup look. I hope you guys like it. Stepping out of late comfort zone. All thanks to Huda Beauty. I definitely recommend checking out that palette guys if you're someone who also has a really hard time getting out of their comfort zone and you love neutrals I don't know like the colors are just too pretty not to use like you're gonna want to use them uh, so I love it hopefully you guys enjoyed this if I should do more colorful makeup looks please let me down please let me know down in the comments and by giving this a thumbs up and to make sure you guys are subscribed because vlogmas starts in a few days where I post every day in December through Christmas and you're not going to want to miss it we have a lot of fun surprises so thank you guys so much I love you with my whole heart and I'll see you soon bye